Hey guys, this is Ankit and welcome to the Google Cloud Platform task series. We will be doing a list of basic tasks to get ourselves familiar with the Google Cloud provider that is GCP. We will be following the DevOps engineer and SRE learning path which is available at cloudskillsboost.google/paths. You can always visit the repository the cloud terminal 01 slash learn hyphen devops to get more details so in today's task we have the following objectives the first one in which we will deploy a web server vm instance in the second case we will create a cloud storage bucket using the gsu2 command line after that we will create a cloud sql instance and then we will configure the application in the compute engine instance to use the cloud sql Finally, we will configure the application and the compute engine instance to use the cloud storage bucket. The total amount of time that we will be spending will be around 13 to 16 minutes. So let's begin. Let's start with our first task, which is deploy a web server VM instance. We'll go to compute engine VM instances. Then let's create instance. Give the name as blog host. Let's keep everything as default. We'll allow HTTP traffic. Let's go to the advanced options. Go to management. And let's give a startup automation script, which is this. Let's create the instance. Let's begin with our second subtask, which is create a cloud storage bucket using GSQL command line. For this, you'll need to activate the cloud shell. In order to activate, you can click on this button over here. Once the cloud shell is activated, you will see the following screen. Let's run the following commands. We'll keep the location as US because our instance is also in the US central one A zone. Let's create the bucket using gsutil. Then we'll copy the image from a public bucket which is already available. Okay, so we have the file. Now let's copy this file from cloud shell to our newly created bucket. Finally, we'll modify the access control list, which allows the object we just created to be readable by everyone. So this is done as well. Let's see whether our bucket is created or not. Okay, let's go to buckets to see our changes. This is cloud storage. We'll go to buckets. Okay, the bucket which we just created with the same name as our project ID is over here. It has one file as well which we uploaded and it is available at this public URL. So if I click on this, I will see my image. Let's begin with our third subtask which is create a cloud sql instance we'll keep the name of the instance as blog db 
let me open a new tab let's go to sql instances sql let's click on create instance we choose the engine as mysql let's keep the instance id as blog db and password as root pass we'll keep the zone same we'll keep the region same that is us central one we want the zone availability to be single yeah and let's create the instance until our database db instance gets created let's make changes in our vm instance as per our next subtask so we have to log into the vm and create a file at this location so let's go back to the vm instances ssh into the instance So we are logged in into the instance now let's go to the directory var www.html let's create a file index.php Okay, the file is created now. We will have to restart the Apache server once the file is created. So we are logged in into the instance now. Let's go to the directory var www.html. Let's create a file index.php okay the file is created now We will have to restart the Apache server once the file is created. So our database instance is created now. Let's go to users and create a user for us. We need to create a user, blog db user. Click on add user account. We'll give the username as this, and let's give the password as this one. Click on add user. Okay, so now the user account is added as well. We also need to go to connections and add the public IP address of our VM instance. So we'll go over here, copy the public IP address, go back to blog db, add a network. We will give the name as, let's see what should be the name, web frontend. So let's give the name as web frontend and let's keep the public IP address over here click on done and save changes
we have created a user now and also we have created an index.php file let's log into the instance again and restart our apache server Let's check the status first. It's running. Let's restart the server. Now let's copy the public IP address of our instance and access index.php. Our database connection comes as failed. This is expected because we have not yet added the DB password yet. And also we need to add the DB host name in our PHP file that we created earlier. So I'll go to blog DB overview and copy the public IP address. So this is the public IP. Let's add it to our index.php file. We will go to cloud db server and copy the public IP address. Let's copy the db password and give it over here. Okay, we have saved the changes. Let's restart our server. It's restarted. Let's visit the same page again. Our database connection is now successful. Let's move on to the next task. Let's copy the public URL of the object that we uploaded few minutes back. So this is our object. Let's copy the public URL. Now we need to add this in our index.php file. Let's restart the server now. Okay, now let's visit the same page again. So now we are able to access the image as well. The instance as such is able to access the public URL that we just gave in the PHP file. So that completes our last task. That's it for today. See you in the next video.